everyone, Carol here at Oak House Journals and I couldn't resist showing you this beautiful journal that was um, made for me by um, a lovely journal maker in Krakow, um, a lady called Wyola uh, Baginska and Wyola, I really, no, Wyletta, sorry, not Wyola, Wyletta Baginska. Um, I really hope I pronounced your name correctly there because um, um, I'm not too sure of the uh, pronunciation but I will put um, uh, Wyletta's um, full name and her Etsy shop in the description down below. I, I've been watching um, Wyletta for some time now and I love the collages that she does. You know me, I love collages um, but <laughs> Wyletta takes them to completely another level and I bought one of her journals a wee while ago um, and asked her if she would make one for me using this particular paper line which um, I spotted and I loved and this is what arrived uh, this morning and I'm thrilled I can't tell you how thrilled I am with it um, it in terms of size it's six inches by um, eight and a half inches or in centimeters uh, 15 by 22 and it has a three and a half centimeter spine or um, about one and one just shy of one and a half for um, the spine if you're doing it in inches and you know me I'm not one for leaving threads on my journals um, but I love them on other people's journals and um, <laughs> I know that those of you that are close friends of mine will be chuckling away now at the threads on this because they'll be thinking oh how long will she last before she's got to trim them well I can tell you on Wyola's Prince um, previous journal I have not touched the threads at all I love them and I will not be trimming them off on this one but let me show you in more detail. I mean, just look at that collaging. There's um, obviously this Broadway Anglais lace and some tickets, book pages, a lot of the designer pad that um, I was keen on. And again, I'll put the name in the description box down below. These are metal embellishments that she's popped on there for me. Um, there's a clock and a bee and a flower and then this is actually a pocket the whole of the front here is a pocket and there's a tag in here using the paper line and it's tied together oh, let me show you the back um, beautiful um, book cloth um, in this beigey color which is lovely and then this broad rayon glaze on the back and it's just left completely organic and torn edges and I just love it then this gorgeous um, canvas type thread um, sorry tape on the side and that's the look of the journal at the side just beautiful I love it absolutely love it so let me take you in for a flip through um, there is one on um, Wyletta's um, uh, YouTube channel so um, please go over there and have a look at um, her describe her journal for you um, but there's a pocket here I'm just going to go through it and love it and share it with you so this is the the paper as you can see gorgeous shades of green and then there's a pocket here with collaging and I just love how she does her collaging there's another tag there all the images and tickets and the threads and here we've got a big journaling card with some lace on it I mean the paper line is just beautiful and here's some Pol Polish um, vintage book text which she's punched the edges with with a, obviously she's got a, an index card uh, punch or a roller dex card punch and actually let me show you this is obviously stamped a coffee stained paper and there's um, by the feel of it gesso on the top of that as well 
and then another top pocket here and look at this um, music paper absolutely gorgeous just gorgeous and then a card from the, the kit or the paper line rather some more Polish paper and this is all the way through the journal as well um, lots and lots of book pages there for me to to use then we have a couple of tags here or oh, it's just one tag and it's joined down the side with some um, rough torn linen in bunny ears at the side with a paper clip over the page let me see if I can lift this up a little bit for you I do struggle with my um, tripod a little bit there's a, a, a tuck spot or belly band across the page at the bottom here this paper line is just amazing and of course every page has a beautiful collage on it this one I kept on thinking it was a belly band or a tuck spot but there's a little tuck spot in here but it's stitched down the centre here so it's mainly collaging this page just beautiful just move it up a little bit that might be better and then this is an envelope here more collaging on this page here we have a tag clipped on with a paper clip there's a, an image of a woman on this one but look at the colours on that beautiful I just love this paper line actually I'm going to flip it over because I love the reverse of this there's an owl on this page here and then another belly band with a butterfly a clock a ticket there's some book page another tag and again for the cohesion all the way through this broad ray anglais and then this is another one of the tags from the the paper line and this is an old um, obviously an old book page here is a belly band if I just move that across for you here's a belly band and that same image of a woman but this time she's been stitched in to the belly band and then this is just a little um, just a folder with some pa papers in more book page little note page um, page out of a notebook um, but the browns on here pick up perfectly with the tea staining or coffee staining that um, Wyletta has has done and then the brown on the um, on the paper line and then we have a big clock image here and that's you can see the canvas that she's used to stitch down the side and used as hinges on her page, which is a lovely idea. I've never done that, but I must uh, I must try it sometime because I really do like the idea. Um, it's really nice. And then there's a, a top tuck spot here with a um, journaling card inside. And then on this page is a tuck spot here behind the clock take the paper clip away and I've got a wrap around card in the paper line on this page and that just clips on there and as I said there's a tuck spot there and then if you flip over onto the following page there's another tuck spot on that side and we have a I'll just pop that in there for the time being we have a corner tuck spot on this page I think probably I I would I'm not so keen on that image that's the only thing in the journal that I'm not that keen on um, so I would probably just cover it up with that's probably too big but I would probably cover it up so that I was just getting a hint of what was coming out at the top or the bottom if it ever gets to the stage where it bothers me that much but actually I hate to alter my journals when somebody has gone to all the time and effort to create a beautiful journal for me um, 
I, I really don't like altering them in the slightest. That's why I wouldn't trim off the um, edges or the, the threads um, for the simple reason that I buy them because they're a different style from what I would make. Um, and I love them. I love the style um, and I love seeing how people have created them. And so it, for me, in my head, it would not be right to alter the journal um, in any way when I get it because uh, it's it's somebody else's art, somebody else's creation. So I know that's 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 just my take on things. It's probably not everybody else's, um, but I just think if somebody's gone to the effort of of making me a beautiful journal, then it's not for me to alter their artwork or alter their creation. Um, and I should in absolutely enjoy it as it is. And I have to say, for me, this journal is perfection. I love it. And I aspire to be able to do collaging like uh, like Wyolette has done. Um, so here we have another tag. Sorry, I'm getting carried away again. Look at this, another tag with a, a little torn edge as a tuck spot in there. And some more of the vintage book page. And then more collaging, but this is on an envelope, so it's been covered and the um, the whole of the top, um, the whole of the flap has been collaged, so it's hidden and you really wouldn't know it was there when you see it like that, it's really nice. Um, again, more of this beautiful collaging and I love that these two pages are almost mirror images of each other and this is the centre of the signature. Um, for me, that's very appealing. I, I love it. <laughs> so then we go over the page and we've got another one of these um, concealed envelopes. We have a tag with bunny ears at the top. And I just, this was my, absolutely my choice of paper line. Um, and I can't tell you what a marvellous job I think has been made of it. It's uh, it's just lovely. And that's beautiful. And then here we have a. Just going to take that out. We have a a wrap around again. So if I open it up, that's what it looks like when it's opened up. And so you've got a tuck spot here and a tuck spot there. Oops, a daisy. Let me get that back in. And when you flip it over, that's you could be journaling quite happily inside there. And then that wraps round some of this gorgeous Polish paper, which has been gessoed. And oh, the sound of it is lovely, it really is. So that's another wraparound card with collaging to make tuck spots there. And then we have this page here, which is hinged with fabric again. And we have a fabric pocket down at the bottom with some collaging. Beautiful threads. And then another side tuck here, again on book page, covered with gesso. Just love this paper. It's absolutely amazing paper. And here it looks like tea bag paper or perhaps some handmade paper that's been dyed. There's some book page, a, um, a card or a tag from the paper line, some more behind and then again more of the bordery anglais. Big belly band here and another one here with obviously with some lovely tags and journaling cards tucked inside. Here is a, a, another collage page that hides the envelope pocket at the side. And then there's a tuck spot behind this clock here. And then we have an envelope that has been clipped to that page. And this is again some from the paper line onto plain craft envelope. But that works perfectly with the journal in terms of the browns. It's picking up the browns and the brown threads um, that's used throughout. So.
so in love with this music paper. Absolutely love it. And here we have a, another belly band with another piece of the um, paper line. See, I just love all these torn edges. Really do. Here we have a glass seam pocket with two big tags inside or journaling cards inside. They just sit nicely in there. And then here a final corner corner pocket with another journaling card inside. And then this is my back cover. And there we go. And there we flip over to the back. Oops, a daisy. And the spine, as you can see, single signature. Beautiful straight line for that um, three hole pamphlet stitch. That's beautiful straight line. And that's the front. So, Waletta, thank you so much for creating such a beautiful custom order for me. Um, I'm absolutely thrilled with her and I will have many an hour browsing through her um, as always as I do with all my journals um, I love each and every one of them they're all slightly different all by different artists um, and each one have their own individual style stamped all the way through them and um, Waletta yours are no exception so thank you so much for making this journal for me I am thrilled I love her absolutely love her um, your collages are to die for and I'm so jealous I just wish I could collage half as nicely as as you do um, so thank you so much again and thank you everybody for bearing with me and letting me share um, this lovely journal with you Take care, everybody. Bye-bye now.